CCR2. How does your product engage with audiences and how would it be distributed as a real media text? Introduce your magazine's audience. My magazine will be targeted as a socio-economic group of A to C2 through the easy language and a price of four pounds. This may be expensive for the lower part of this demographic, but I believe that people that fall under the spire psychometrics will wish to purchase my magazine as they care deeply about status, so this might make them feel higher class. Furthermore, personal relationships, Blumla and Cats, may be prominent in my audience as they may develop attachments to certain characters and connections to people in their personal lives by discussing these characters. Personal identity, Blumla and Cats, may also be experienced by my audience as they may see certain characteristics in the actors' interviews and wish to use these to better themselves in their own lives. How my product targeted this audience. From my case studies, I learned that my magazine needs to be distributed through multiple platforms of media, especially since I am aiming at a young target market of 18 to 35. This will be done through an opening of multiple social media platforms such as Instagram, Twitter and TikTok, as these are some of the most used apps that my target market uses. These are going to have a fun vibe, including clips from famous movies that will be enticing and interviews of famous movie stars. We will have special features for representation, especially for Pride Month and Black History Month, and will help raise money for charities supporting these causes to paint a good image of this magazine's ideologies and beliefs. This magazine will have headquarters in London, UK, and New York, USA, and will be vastly sold throughout these two countries in supermarkets, bookstores, and comic stores, but will be available globally on international websites such as eBay and Amazon for hard copies, and there will be an online version through an app available on the App Store and Play Store. I believe my magazine would be popular, as films are incredibly popular in my headquarters, with around 19% of US adults claiming to watch or stream movies every day, while an additional 26% state that they watch movies several times per week. Furthermore, after my case studies into Total Film, Empire and Entertainment Weekly and the statistics they have of 30 or more thousand circulation for all of them yearly, I am observing what an audience would wish to consume, how the text should be spread out, the color scheme that is necessary, and adding a sense of modernity to it through my ideas of representation, charity help, and setting up an inclusive mindset for a future generation. I would target Warner Brothers to buy my magazine, as they have stated that their target market is young teens, young adults, and kids on the basis of genre, which can fall perfectly with the inclusive mindset for future generation projects. Furthermore, I would choose them as they are not afraid to dive into controversial topics in their movies, such as mental health in The Joker and substance abuse in A Star is Born, which you believe are some serious topics that must be discussed with society. Why does this magazine deserve a place? This magazine deserves a place as it digs deep into all areas of film, the drama in Hollywood, the technicalities of life on set for people who wish to pursue this, and most importantly, voicing representations for minorities, which my competitors have not done to this extent. There will be posters hung in Times Square and Leicester Square of our name and slogan, Director's Cut, shaping the young, inclusive minds of the future everywhere, with the background pictures of openly LGBT personalities and BAME in order to create this normality worldwide. Director's Cut will also have a radio station and podcast where people can call in and share their personal experiences of being part of a minority to help improve interactivity.